you know, I thought about something too that they talked about Jesus too, you know. They were saying he were hanging he was hanging around sinners and they called him a drunkard and a wine bibber and a glutton. So he must have been a heavy set man or wasn't, you know, starving. And I just think about that because there's something to this Christmas thing. I was listening to Joy to the World, the Lord has come. Let her receive her King. Think about that. Let earth receive her King. Who is her? Could it be the bride? who is saying, come, and the Holy Spirit is saying, come, receive my king, receive my word, receive me. Could it be? Jesus told them that John the Baptist was Elijah. So he must have been the other witness because he said, he is one witness and his father is the other witness. And he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the father. But when he was talking about John the Baptist being Elijah, because remember, he had the spirit of Elijah when he was born. He said, he is Elias if you can receive it. And my sister was talking to me yesterday as I picked her up from the airport and took her on a, an adventure about a three hour drive. We were in the car for about three hours, but she was talking about this being our season to receive. And I just heard it so clearly. Let earth receive her king joy to the world. Remember, the fast and the morning was over. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. Who sings a love song as we go along. See, walking in a winter wonderland. And I'm talking about winter on the last post because... It's darkness and gloominess for the wicked. But it's not so for the righteous. It's joy and peace and gladness. And yes, the weapons may be formed, but they're not going to prosper. Because we have the blood of Jesus. If you will receive it.